All right, what is going on, Fight Fans? So, I decided to dust off the old Oculus Quest that I probably haven't used in over two years to play my favorite VR boxing game of all time. And really, there's just no comparison. Nothing comes close to this. There's no gimmicks. There's no stamina bar. There's no super hyper punch, super punch, mega fire flames. It's just boxing. It's essentially shadow boxing with some with the ability to have somebody punch back at you without having to actually get hit in real life. That that's what this is. So there's no um there's no you know, like I said, no special, no hypers. Your stamina is your actual stamina. If you get tired, then you're that's it. That's what it is. You're tired and you can't uh, keep on punching or you're, 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 you're getting fatigued and you're not optimal in the ring. So it's basically real boxing. And that's the reason why I like it. Now, there are some limitations. Some things just don't read. Like, don't get, like, there's times where you'll do, like, a catch and shoot, and it just doesn't register. I'm here. I'm doing a little bit of training just because I'm super rusty. I haven't played the game in a long time. Uh, so I'm just doing a little bit of, a little bit of training just to kind of get my, uh, calibrate myself a little bit with how the game uh, works and like the timing of everything so that's why i'm just doing all that stuff there uh so we're gonna go into a fight uh i think i because i had to get it for the pc so that i can do this third person view for you guys and i had to connect my oculus through the oculus link uh i had to restart everything so now i have to try to fight this guy and also the room scale so the square that's below us is small uh, because of the fact that we are, um, because it's an Oculus Link, so apparently with the Oculus Link, the the uh, room scale is the tiniest amount that we can have. It doesn't allow us to create a big room scale, so I can move around a little bit more. But either way, got caught clean right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Tommen is completely off right off the bat, but. Uh, yeah, so either way, you could make a large room scale. Just keep that in mind if you play like on the Oculus Quest without, you know, connecting it through the link. It's as big as you can make it, really. Or uh, I think there's a size limit, but it, it's really huge and you can move around. He is tagging me like crazy. But anyways, uh, one thing that I wanted to focus on is like oh, I always do. And this is what I did when I used to box back when I was like 18. Um... I basically try to create moments of offense like that, but I, I focus so much on uh, a lot of defense. So I work on my head movement, and here is without fear of you know getting your brain rattled, <laughs> getting punched in the mouth, or anything like that, and you know getting a busted lip because you're getting hit by an uh, an imaginary uh, CPU. So it's all good. <laughs> so you can take a little bit more risk. So here you see that I'm using a lot of head movement. I'm getting away from his punches. I'm timing him. I'm doing combinations that make sense. You know, body to head combinations. Drop the hands and stuff like that. He He's very uh, adamant on blocking his head. That was pretty frustrating. No matter what I was doing, he was just sticking to that head block. See, right there, for example, I, I should have caught the punch. But for some reason... They just didn't register the punch as being caught. It, it registered as a hit. There I got hit. There I got caught. I caught the punch, and I like that it registered. Here I threw a little combination, combination to the body head, piling up on the body because this man is protecting the head so much. So I want him to kind of give me some wiggle room to attack upstairs. You know, putting putting the glove out, making it a little bit hard for him to just strike straight through it. And then throw into the body. Creating some head movement here. Trying to slip and catch just in case. Always trying to be, you know, uh, one step ahead of your opponent. <clears throat> Threw a little uppercut there. Saw a little opening. There's an opening right there in the center. But you see how I, I have to go around him. Around his guard to get him. He caught me there by surprise. I was thinking of something to do like literally in that instance and then he just went and caught me with a with a jab 
So here I'm trying to figure out ways to get him to to you know drop his hands. Considering this is a CPU and all of that stuff, there he kind of dropped it a little bit, and I was able to come off top. So now it looks like there's a rhythm for me with him dropping his hands. Which I like. I like how, you know, his hands go a little bit low when you go for that strike. And by the way, guys, this is a cardio VR fitness game through and through. Yes, it's boxing, but it is 100% cardio at the same time. Now, I apply the Philly shell, which is incredibly limited in this game, considering that you cannot show the roll at all, and it doesn't really read. Oh, and you could clinch. A lot of people don't know that you could do that in this game. You could actually clinch if you get close enough. Here, I'm, you know, it's a little bit showboating, a little bit trying to actually get him to bait him to get those hands away from his face. There, I like, you see how they drop it? They drop the hands. I like that. I like that 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 was built into the mechanic, built into the AI, where they drop the hands. <clears throat> right there, he's doing the Philly shell. So it can't register exactly where my arms are. Ooh, caught him with a beautiful combination that knocked him down. Body head combination. Those are always good because they get they're so confusing and blitzing. All right, so here we go. I love how you can anything you do it just gets uh, it just gets represented on screen. <clears throat> Tell me what you guys think about this type of video. If you want me to keep on doing videos like this, so here I'm rolling, catching him with a beautiful combination, body head combination, trying to really get him to understand that like you know uh, your body is a thing too buddy <laughs> like you, you can't just be 95 percent upstairs you know what i mean like i'm, I'm a, that day i caught and rolled i, I love this game man it's, it's just you know it, it's shadow boxing but it's adding elements of oof, being slick there he caught me in the body though yeah being slick being real slick but that baits him it opens him up a little bit it's shadow boxing, but you're adding fun to it. You're adding this realistic thing. Because when you shadow box, you're imagining things that are going on. But here, you're you're able to react to things that are actually going on. Here, I'm trying to apply some footwork on him. But the problem is the, the punch space or the, the, the zone for us to move around is so tiny. Uh... If I was to just do the Oculus without the link, I could use a more bigger room scale, and then I'll be able to move around a little bit more. Plus, I wouldn't have the wire that's tethered there. But, you know, content over everything, right? <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm hitting him with some straights from and moving, trying to get create, create some footwork with, with that. So the light footwork, just to, with the limitations rolling but dang got caught right there essentially i should be keeping my hands up more but i'm also very frustrated with his defense his defense is kind of annoying so i kind of want him to to see openings so that he can go for right and oh man like that should have been caught but it wasn't it's that that is kind of frustrating but the game is, you know, it, it's still regardless. Obviously, it's a video game, but there is still, it is still hands down the best. The best. And you get a good workout from it, which is what I love too. Trying to time him, trying to come up at top. That should have been caught too. You see what I'm talking about, man? It's so annoying. I see the punch and I'm, I'm getting at it, but they, they, it just registers as a, as a landed hit. Here, I'm slipping. Philly shell. So, yeah, you can't show the roll with the Philly shell, right? So, but there is uh, there is a um, utility to it in this game because the body could be hit with the Philly shell. As you can see right there, he hit me right right in, in the liver. As you can see right there, the Philly shell is, it, it blocks the front part of my body. But because the arms cannot be registered, it's very limited. So it's really only where the gloves are located that they're gonna create a it's gonna create a block. So you're probably better off not doing the Philly shell. But that those are kind of things that are ingrained in my muscle memory uh, from how I boxed when I boxed at world class boxing gym in the Bronx uh, for about three years. 
trying to trying to blind a man, trying to blind a man. Had the punch out there. Whew, he caught me clean there. I can't I can't say nothing about that one. Trying to bring the hand up. See, and all that stuff like that. In that instance, I would have pushed his hand in real life. But here, because it's a game, there are limitations. Should have caught that one too, but it's all good. Rolling, rolling. Hit him with some quick combos. Quick combos. Yo, this third person view though, man, it's so hilarious. It's a floating body with pants and headgear and gloves. <laughs> Alright, slip and slip. Come up top. Come to the body. Come up top. Roll. Got caught there. Caught that. See, I should have caught that with my glove, man. Slip. Slip and you can get knocked out easy in this game by the way you can get knocked out So when you're hearing that muffled sound that means that I'm like woozy and like at any moment could get knocked down So I'm, I'm trying to be very careful at the same time So I'm trying to be very active with my defense with the head movement with during those times Slipping rolling going under here I wanted to hit him with the with the uh, Julio Sister Chavez Sr. <laughs> body shot, relentless body shot. You know, run out the time. You know what I mean? Coaches always tell you that. You know, just go go for it. It's only last 20 seconds, last 10 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, so, going to the scorecard, <laughs> the judges have determined by majority decision. Yeah, I mean, eh, it could have been a draw. I did knock him down in the second round off of a three-round fight. So, plus, I think I did a little bit better than he did. But, you know, I, I was getting caught a lot. So, even with uh, the defense that I was applying, I was getting caught. And some things were getting registered regardless. But it was still fun. I had to let the referee know that I was displeased with his decision. So, I came in with a fight night round three type haymaker. Had to hit him with that twice, by the way, just so that he knows how I feel. And then uh, if you look to the left here, you can see that the scorecards are there. And that's the, he got the first round and the last round. And then that's how it became a draw. All right. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is super fun. If you ever want to play VR, uh, this is the one to get. Boxing VR, uh, thrill of the fight, nothing better than this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.